Hi guys. It's still a little bit cloudy, gloomy, and drizzly. It is a Thursday night. I think it is March 24th, 2022. So, uh, a little dog and all. I are off to meet Brother Aaron for dinner in a part company for who knows how long as I wind down my sojourn here in the uh, Point Lonesome Swamp in the Oasis of Freedom. So anyway, while I'm driving, I'll just uh, have this little rant, I, which I'm going to segue into with uh, the latest... <laughs> update on uh, this uh, video that my buddy Vegematic uh, took out made a week ago y y you know Veg and I have been having fun with each other uh, the past few weeks uh, and, and first the fact it, it's hard to tell is anybody out there on the fucking planet uh, actually thinking for one minute that uh, Vegematic and I are in some sort of feud and uh, but reading these comments uh, you know from these clueless fucking morons and it's you know this is when you can't tell when people are are being uh, ironic and uh, using satire uh, but my favorite one now, now the latest is this fucking uh, either this master satirist who now going by the name Sat somebody which might be a little clue uh, I'm trying to give this clueless fucking moron the benefit of the doubt so he is now brought into the situation that Lulu you, you know, this nasty fucking bitch next door to me who blew her brains out has willed me her house. <laughs> that, that, that I honestly don't know if, if Sat uh, thinks for one second that that fucking bitch willed me uh, her house in the the most hilarious little kernel of truth that uh, these how these bullshit rumors get started is I, as you can probably hear on uh, former uh, former videos from uh, a year or two ago, I willed my property to Lulu. She was in my will to. Uh, inherit my property if I died before she did. Well, obviously she died before I do, thank God. And of course, that fucking bitch never left a will, which, which is uh, part of this whole fucking problem, is since she didn't leave a will, that this whole goddamn uh, real estate sale has been bogged down in both probate and foreclosure court, and I have been hanging out, uh, you know, just kind of caretaking the property, which is another way of saying squatting on it. Uh, but this is how, so now I guess two other of these clueless fucking morons, some fucking bitch named, what's her name, Heather, some clueless fucking moron named Conrad, I have no idea who these fucking people are thinking for one second that Lulu fucking willed her house to Hambone, if that fucking bitch had willed her house to me, I would be putting about a hundred and fifty thousand fucking dollars in my pocket right now, you clueless fucking morons. But anyway, that may or may not have something to do with, uh, you can uh, figure out uh, yourself what uh, that story has to do with uh, this rant that has been bubbling around. You know, I, I mentioned uh, th this fucking narcissistic 
buffoon that bought my uh, buildings. And, you know, just one of the grossest people I have met in my entire life. You, you rub up against this fucking blowhard and you think, my God, why would anybody... Uh, you know, meeting this guy, want to be in his life for more than 15 minutes. And he shows up here on Saturday with his girlfriend, who is this fucking attractive, intelligent, uh, she's a fucking surgeon. This woman is a fucking surgeon. And, and, and she is just throwing her fucking life away. Uh, with this goddamn, uh, th this fucking loser, this loud-mouthed, uh, j j just gross, th this fucking narcissistic pig uh, with no fucking redeeming features. Well, he can uh, load stacks of lumber. I guess that's his redeeming feature. But anyway... Uh, I, I had that happen, so then what I did on Saturday and Sunday night, I went over there to Netflix. Uh, have you guys heard of this thing called Bad Vegan? This really fucking salacious, sensationalist, uh, trashy uh, piece of Netflix garbage made by the same people who did Tiger King if that gives you uh, any idea. And so I, I, I watched, I, I'm embarrassed to admit, I watched all four hours of Bad Vegan, and then also, uh, and, and while watching Bad Vegan at night during the day, I've been reading this book called The Doomsday Mother. You might have heard, uh, you've probably, <clears throat> I uh, heard something over the past couple of years about this uh, woman and this fucking doomsday prophet. The, this guy always, you know, fucking talking about uh, how we're living in the end times and the end of the world is coming and, and all of this shit. And somehow he uh, got this crazy fucking mentally ill uh, doomer chick. Uh, sucked up into his little uh, end times doomer drama and uh, they ended up good lord uh, they killed her kids he got her uh, well I don't know the two of them killed her own children I think they killed uh, her they were both married I'm pretty sure uh, that they killed her husband and his wife, I think, that there were at least four fucking people they killed in all of this, that this fucking, this obvious fucking creep, uh, you, you know, it, it's, it, it's clear, again, to anybody that this dude is, is a fucking creep. Uh, you know, it's every bit as clear as in Bad Vegan that this woman, at least in Doomsday Mother, uh, the woman was, was mentally imbalanced. Okay, so she was very easy for this Doomsday uh, prophet uh, talking about living in the end times, you know, to victimize and, and take her for a fucking ride. But over there at Bad Vegan, the, uh, the you know, the woman in uh, the, you know, the two central people, the, the woman was this, was this beautiful, successful, uh, she owned this vegan restaurant in New York, uh, you know, had all kinds of money, success, friends, she was beautiful, educated, successful, lived in a, you know what I'm saying, she had everything, uh, I mean, looking at this woman, she, she had everything going for her. 
uh, the last person in the fucking world that you would expect to fall for one of these fucking creeps. This just absolute slime bag uh, that she, uh, I, did they meet online somehow? I mean, not. I don't think, I don't remember if it was like a pile of fish thing, but somehow they uh, found each other online and, and, and this absolute fucking sleaze bag. I mean, everything about the man was sleazy. And she even found early in the relationship, you know, that he had a police record impersonating uh, a police officer. And, I mean, every fucking red flag. That, that this guy was a sleazebag fucking creep. And she ended up, o over a period of two years, she gave this motherfucker $1.7 million. $1.7 million fucking dollars. And, and then he built her mother out of another $400,000. So between these two women, th this motherfucker got got uh, over two million dollars from uh, from from uh, the, the these two women. Uh, this obvious, just gross. I, I mean, everything about him was, was fucking gross. Now, of course, you, you, you know, Netflix, you, you got to take everything uh, in these sleazy ass uh, Netflix uh, true crime dramas and these sleazy true crime books so with a little bit of grain of salt. But the guy was, was clearly a fucking sleaze bag. Okay, I mean, she ended up, I mean, losing her, all of her money, losing her successful business, all of her goddamn employees getting fucked out of their pay and, and winding up uh, unemployed uh, because of this fucking dirt bag. And, and, and uh, you know, so, th so just in the, in the past few days, I have seen with my own eyes uh, with this fucking dirt bag out here getting these buildings from me with this attractive intelligent surgeon that, uh, th that he's obviously fucking milking. Uh, he's clearly fucking milking uh, this clueless bitch. And, uh, and, 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 you know, and he just, and you just have to wonder what in the fuck is going on with these women and 90% of it you know is women the vast majority of these uh, these things uh, are, are men uh, you know scamming women uh, the vast majority although you better believe I'm also dealing uh, in, in my own life with my new neighbor of this place I just bought uh, he is being completely fucking scammed. Uh, this 88-year-old man is being absolutely fucking scammed and getting ready to be taken to the fucking cleaners by this 41-year-old woman who is clearly fucking after his money. And, and this 88-year-old man thinking this 41-year-old hottie is, is uh, fucking in love with him. She's setting him up to take his fucking money. It's, uh, so it's not always women, but, uh, I, you, you know, just, just how the fuck do people fall for this shit? And, you know, and it's just, you, you, you try to look at these guys and, you know, they're, they're basically in two camps uh, that, uh, that they themselves are fucking lunatics. Uh, you know, they themselves are fucking mentally ill fucking lunatics. And, and then they run up against some other, you know, there's that. And, and, and then there's just the fucking flat-out scammers. 
uh, just in your face obvious scammers uh, I'm suspecting uh, is uh, uh, is a lot more common. There's probably some overlap. You know, there's the sexual predators, there's the serial sexual predators, uh, uh, you, you know, in it for the fucking pussy. Uh, you know, there's guys in it for the money and the pussy. But why is it so easy to, to find these fucking women? And, uh, you know, these women that I meet on Pile of Fish is unbelievable. Like, every woman I meet on Pile of Fish has run into these guys. Uh, it, 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 it's the same fucking story uh, that these fucking creeps, you know, prowling around these dating sites looking for, you know, basically looking for lonely middle-aged women is who they're looking for. Uh, either single women or women in bad marriages. Uh, just preying on them. And, and, and you try to feel sorry uh, for, uh, you know, for these goddamn women. Now, in the case of uh, of bad vegan, I mean, how sorry can you feel uh, about this entitled little uh, rich bitch? Uh, you, you know, who gives a fuck? Uh, you know, you, you're almost, on, on one level, you're almost cheering the fucking guy on. I, I, I mean, she's, she's this fucking little spoiled little, uh, you know, little uh, princess bitch who, who thinks uh, that she's got the fucking world coming to her, which is, you know, that they, these guys, uh, in, in both of these cases, uh, they're, you know, uh, promising these women uh, how they are, going, you know, going to be their fucking... Uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, good, good, good God. Uh, uh, and you and you just want to fucking scream. You just want to fucking scream. You 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 just want to reach through the goddamn TV screen or the pages of the book and just slap these clueless fucking bitches. You know they have to take some of the fucking blame. Uh, the, the, these clueless bimbos. They need to take some of, of, of the fucking blame. And, uh, you know, that this guy in, uh, in, in Bad Vegan, what, I, I think that guy, so he gets two million dollars out of these, uh, you know, this woman and her mother, two million fucking dollars causes all of this uh, pain and suffering to all of these uh, people at this restaurant. I think he might have spent one year in jail and, uh, and, and the clueless bitch herself, she spent one month in jail. So he blows two million fucking dollars uh, out, his, out his fat ass and, uh, and it spends less than a year. And, uh, you know, Netflix is, is, is just full of these stories that I just, I don't know why I am so fascinated. And of course, these guys are, are all fucking pikers compared to these cult leaders. Uh, you, you know, like this doomsday guy uh, and the doomsday mother now you know, she was the main one he had. His, but, but it's unbelievable uh, how many people, men and women, were believing his horse shit. You, you know, he started out Mormon. He, he left the fucking Mormon church behind. I, I mean, even fucking Mormons were, were saying this guy, uh, even by fucking uh, Mormon standards, the guy was a, was a fucking lunatic. Uh, you, you know, talking about all of this fucking 
end times, I guess he was saying the world was going to end in June of 2020. Uh, it was his dooms that, you know, putting a date on it. This is, you know, how many times have we heard uh, about these doomers, you know, putting a fucking date uh, on uh, when the world is going to end or humans are going to go extinct and, and uh, ha having nothing in, in, in their fucking pedigree. Uh, you know, where a fucking, what is it, a bighorn sheep uh, range manager uh, can come on and, and, and become some goddamn, uh, you know, fucking cult leader and get all of these fucking ass licking toadies, uh, you know, to line up behind them and start talking about how the fucking world is going to end. Uh, you know, how uh, the fucking world is going to end, and what is it now, four years, and, 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 these, and these goddamn intelligent, college-educated people uh, signing up for this unadulterated fucking horseshit. I, I mean, it's goddamn embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. To, to be a goddamn uh, doomer and a doomsday prophet talking about how we're living in the fucking end times, which is exactly what we are. Uh, but that, to, to sit here and say that we're living in the end times is not saying uh, that the fucking world is going to end in June of 2020 or by uh, 2026 or whatever. You know, it, it, it just really, I mean, it, it hurts, it hurts me. I mean, there's people listening to me right now, right now, listening to this, uh, believing uh, that fucking humans are going to be fucking extinct uh, by, uh, you know, by the, in four fucking years because of some goddamn blue ocean event or uh, some fucking global dimming uh, or, 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 or whatever fucking horseshit offering exactly zero evidence. Zero evidence. Uh, and, and, and uh, you, you know, I, I mean, these clueless fucking bimbos uh, handing over their fucking pussy uh, to, to these motherfuckers, uh, these low-life scumbags that anybody, uh, you, you know, looking at these fucking people, talking this fucking bullshit uh, out of their fucking mouths, uh, you know, uh, pulling their fucking panties down, or uh, pulling out their fucking checkbook. You know, handing over the pussy, handing over the fucking money, uh, listening to this goddamn bullshit uh, coming out of these fuckers' mouths, and, and, and you wonder why we're fucked, but, uh, you know, at, at some point, you have to start blaming uh, the clueless fucking morons. You know, whether it be a, uh, you know, one, uh, one woman uh, being scammed uh, by some fucker on pile of fish or, uh, or the goddamn Mormon religion, which is a fucking cult. I mean, that guy, mother fuck, Joseph Smith, do you know anything about uh, the fucking Joseph Smith? And, uh, and, and, and the fucking golden tablets and all of this shit. Uh, the Mormon religion, it's a fucking cult is what it is. And uh, that motherfucker, I, I, I mean, uh, their goddamn angel is named Moron, for God's sake. You, you name your fucking angel Moron. Uh, so Joseph Smith at least uh, had a wicked sense of humor, uh, you know, ba basing his church uh, of clueless morons and, and, uh, and naming his angel moron, uh, laughing all the way to the fucking bank. But at least that motherfucker, Joseph Smith, 
Uh, did you know he was 38 years old when he got lynched? I always picture Joseph Smith as being, you know, some uh, white-haired, bearded old man. The motherfucker was 38 uh, when a group of vigilantes uh, stormed uh, the jail cell and, and fucking took that motherfucker out people with fucking brains and so then of course he became a fucking martyr oh Jesus fucking Christ we wonder why the fuck we're so fucked uh, that in, in, you know intelligent people swallowing this fucking bullshit whether it's some angel named moron uh, you, you know, or uh, what, whatever it is. Jesus fucking Christ! You know, I I, I frequently had this fantasy of uh, of being reborn. Uh, you know, since I was fucking uh, abducted by space aliens for 22 fucking years, I could come out of here and start a new YouTube channel, uh, you know, claiming uh, that I was getting all of this fucking downloaded material uh, from these fucking space aliens and shit. Uh, I'd probably have pussy coming out my fucking ears. Uh, you know, I was talking about some goddamn conversation I'd had with some fucking space alien, some fucking bullshit like that. You know, I just picked the wrong rabbit hole for pussy, obviously. Although Guy McPherson, obviously, uh, he picked the right rabbit hole. Oh, fuck. Anyway. I gotta pay attention to where I am. I'm looking to meet my buddy at this barbecue place. I've got a dead pig with my name on it. Bubba Q's. Bubba Q's. I'm going to get me some Bubba Q. No fucking. So now I overshot the fucking place. There's no fucking U-turn. Don't think I can get, can't get there from here, Hambone. Let's see, is the road open? This used to be a homeless camp. I remember years ago that this was a fucking homeless camp. It's now a trailer park. I don't know which one is more uh, tragic. Homeless camp or trailer park. All right, barbecues, barbecues, barbecue. Get out there and enjoy a dead pig while you still can. Bye, guys. Yes, little dog. I'm gonna go have some dead pig. See my buddy's truck. All right. Barbecues. We got pulled pork and barbecue ribs at barbecues. Bye, guys.